Hello everyone, welcome to JS Gigs and my name is Deepak. Here in this tutorial, we are going to be talking about the two new hooks which are introduced by Angular 17 framework in their recent release. So the first of which is after render, the other one is after next render. And we must also understand before we delve deeper into after render and after next render where they actually reside in the entire tree of Angular hooks. So if you can look at your screen right now, the first one is the constructor and the next one is called is ng on changes, ng on init, ng to check and after that content in it, after view in it, content checked and after view checked. And after that, once the rendering of all the components inside a browser completes, comes the, comes the turn off after render. So now you can understand that basically after render and after next render as from the documentation official documentations picture you can also understand that it is basically it is being called after rendering right it is it is it is not exactly inside the ng on changes and before the render or anything like that it is done right after rendering meaning all the dom page all your page all the content or all the component on your pack on on your page when they are loaded all the directives are loaded on the services and everything else is loaded on your browser that's when after render is called there are a few attributes of after render and after next render, right? We need to understand before we start writing code around it. So the first of which, and it's a very important one, is that after render and after next render, both of them are called from injection context. What do I mean by that? Injection context essentially means that it is being called from the constructor, from wherever you have a directive, wherever you have the ng factory or anything like that in the component whenever they are used they are basically called inside the constructor if you look at the code of uh, after render and after next render which you would see just in a while so if you look at the documentation right here you would understand that after render and after next render is also called after a phase after render and after next render as you can see on your screen are basically called inside the constructor as you, you may have noticed over here and there are certain things that it does which is basically manipulating the style of a native element style of a native element what do i mean by that meaning something which is available inside your dom and then we usually read the dom in angular using element reference renderer renderer too precisely and here also it is no different so here if you can notice that that the element ref has been injected inside the constructor and the element ref has the dom entire dom available in it and and we are basically trying to modify the style modify the padding of a native, a native element by using some of the function in this documentation for this tutorial i have prepared a small example and let's just let me just take you there quickly so this is the example currently running on my local host and we are going to be coding this inside the stack blitz but then let me quickly show you an example which is running in my local if you notice that i prepared a small game like a ui right so what what it essentially means is that if you look at the application overview and read carefully you would understand that you know the moment your application when the moment you you complete the equation properly it increases the green bar that will come below the test by 20 percent and after five correct answers your 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 green bar would go back and you will start again so let me just show you quickly what i mean by that so let's say what would you add in six that makes it 33 so let me say 27 it makes it 25 now you can see that i've i painted some of the green i painted this green bar over here and let me just add another one so what would you add in 28 to make it 25 which is minus three congrats now you have corrected the two answers now what would you add to something to put what would you add in seven to make it 73 that's going to be 67 66 correct answer what would you made what would you add in 27 to make it six it's going to be minus 21 that's also is the correct answer now you can see that it has increased all that while so what would you add in 42 to make it 30 which is minus 12 and here you go you have corrected all the five on consecutive answers and then the screen bar has touched the other side of the screen already so if you just reset it next time it will be reset right so what what essentially is being done on this application in this trivial application is that it first of all adds a number and then the moment it adds a number 
it basically makes use of signal to maintain the state of an application and also using that signal we read what what exactly how many answers are being corrected and basis that we draw this green color progress bar right at the bottom of test button let me show you that once again so what would we add in 24 to make it 11 so it's going to be 13 you see it i've just painted it a green bar and this is being done basically after render hook which is also defined in the constructor in my local application and we will just draw that shortly in our stack blitz example as well right right so now let me just quickly give you a walkthrough of the code that i've written on the stack over on the stack blitz now so let me close everything once again and open it afresh right so here on the app component you can see in the app component.html that i've written a simple instructions over here right and then uh basically i have written one first ops which is this number and then it you need to add to another number which is a second number which is which you something that you will give in the input and once you add it the equal amount is the random number that's something which i've generated in the app component right so here's a simple equation as you may notice that random number is being generated by the math random function and it is supposed to be between zero and one zero and 100 so that's that's why i've multiplied it with 100 and similarly the first operation the first op which is this one is needs to be under 50 which is 0 to 50 and that's why i've multiplied it with 50 and written a number over here the second number is a number that is left empty and something that you would have to enter right so that's one now the other thing is that the moment you press enter the keyboard enter this also computes and resets so let's say if uh, what do you add in 76 what do you add in 22 to make it 76 it's gonna be 50 oh press enter there you go we have not written a code to give the progress bar just yet and that's something which we will do along the way which is just to understand that what what exactly we have done so far right so currently uh if you notice i have not really written any if you notice i have not really written any of the init method or any any of the lifecycle look over here right so it's only the constructor although there is an ong on in it and i think we can comfortably remove it we don't really need it in this tutorial in this particular under concept under 10 minutes session however we certainly need a constructor here in the constructor if you notice that what i'm essentially doing is that i'm updating an equation meaning generating random number first operands and then also assigning it to zero and also if you notice over here i've defined a code which means that the moment you press enter it does the on enter it calls the on enter method and then it just the checks math and which is something that also equates it to zero like let's say if if the number is not exactly equal and it refreshes the page and then make it all a uh, pristine state once again right so that's exactly what we have written so far now um signal is something that which i have already covered in my previous tutorial and then if you are not sure about it you can very well go back and look at the signals tutorial video that i have posted on my channel but here let me just quickly give you an overview of it the game state is a state in which i will maintain the number of time a user has corrected the answer so if you notice over here i'm the moment if the answer is correct i'm updating the count to be one and then once it updates i'm also going to be making the progress bar to move a little further and that's something which we will do using render next or render after render and after next render so let's just write down that those two hooks now so the first one in that series is after render so after render as i said is a hook that's basically called inside an injection context and in our case it is it is going to be inside the constructor we really need to write down some if else condition the first one on in this case is i need to read the game state and if it is greater than zero at the same time i wanted this to be less than six which is under five needs to be inside a callback function you copy this inside here we are so this is the first if condition in which i'll see if the game state is greater than five as you can notice that i have also 
taken a reference of element ref so element ref is um, taken in over here is basically to read this progress bar the progress bar over here as you can see the id is defined as progress bar over here so that's what exactly what we are going to be reading and that's exactly what we are going to be updating also when we are, whenever we do a correct answer and press enter or click test right so in order to do this let me just write down that that, that piece of code dot, and then the query selector as i said earlier it's going to be the id which i've defined over here which is the progress bar and a hash or what it would do is the when whenever a user write in the right correct answer and if it is in the scope of 0 to 5 or between 1 to 5 meaning the state meaning you have not really given you meaning you have, you have been giving all the five consecutive correct answer and that's what i'm going to be increasing it the moment you write even if a single wrong answer i'm going to be reducing the state to zero right or resetting the state to zero and you will have to play that game again what you would need to do here in this is cells block is this dot game state dot update so meaning if it is greater than five and that's also we would reset the state and when we reset the state we also need to ensure that we reduce the width of our progress bar to zero and a typo incorrect this as well in this block when the game state is zero i also want my bar to do not show up so in this case also we'll have to repeat the same also let me open the console just in case if there's an error we would be able to see if that we have not really placed a percentage over here since this is a string and in string interpolation i'm getting the value of game state multiplying it with 20 whatever number that comes must also be having a percentage symbol at the end in order to have it have an effect on the page so let's just try this testing once again what would you add in 12 to make it 59 so the answer is 47 and there you go now you can see that the uh, the progress bar started appearing thank you very much for listening ladies and gentlemen by now we finished the first part of after render and then in the next part we are going to be talking about after next render and also explaining why we have written a code in the manner in which we have written if you like liking my work please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon please do write down in the comment section below if things that you want me to improve upon or if things that you want me to cover hope to see you in the next video thank you